Hey, it's Aurelius. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to create your very own interactive flipbook ebook that you can use to engage your audience and boost your sales. Here's an example of a flipbook I made, which includes these cool page turning effects. And you'll also notice this cool sound effect when the page turns. What's also cool is you can add interactive elements such as embedded videos like the following. In this video, you're going to learn how to create an ebook to sell. You can even embed forms and quizzes like the following. And you're not limited to just creating ebooks. You can also create catalogs, proposals, brochures, magazines, sales pictures, newsletters, online documents, digital reports, and photo albums. So now you can say goodbye to boring static PDF documents and hello to fun and interactive flipbooks that will surely impress your viewers and prospects. All right, to get started, you need to first prepare a PDF document. So whatever you're wanting to create, whether that's an ebook, a guide, a brochure, magazine, whatever you want, we need to first have that PDF ready before we convert it into a flipbook. The easiest and fastest way to do this is to simply use Canva since the, for the most part it is free. If you don't have a Canva account yet, look in the description box below where you can sign up. Now, once you've signed up, all you need to do is create a design. And what I like to search for is A4. This is the pretty much the dimensions of a typical flipbook, but you can choose uh, whatever format size you want. But this is the portrait size that you are looking for if you're wanting to create that sort of ebook. Once you've created a new design, all you need to do is either start from scratch and start adding your text, adding your elements and your images and whatnot. But from here, you can also use the design under templates to shortcut your process of actually creating a PDF document. So go ahead, search for whatever it is. Perhaps it's your niche, perhaps it's a type of template you're looking for, such as uh, an ebook. And Canva's got quite a number of templates to choose from. And but let's say you like this one, all you need to do is click once and we can apply all 25 pages, or you can select each individual page that you want on your template. And then from here, it's as simple as editing the template with your headline, or that is your guide title or ebook title, and edit anything else. Once you're done designing your ebook, magazine, brochure, or whatever it is that you're designing, all you need to do is head to share. And we're going to do it this way, right? We're going to download it as a PDF standard because it is going to be for online reading anyway. And from here, we're going to select all the pages and simply click on the download button. All right, great. Once you've downloaded your PDF document, all you need to do is go to a website called Flipping Book. This is the exact tool that you can use to turn that PDF into an interactive flipbook. Look in the description box below. That will take you to Flipping Book. From here, all you need to do is click on try for free. This will give you access to 14 full days and it gives you all of its features and you don't need to enter your credit card details to start using it. But we'll talk more about pricing and plans and the features you get with each plan later in this video. For now, let me show you how to turn that PDF into a flipping book. Once you've signed up, head to upload PDF, All right? So we're going to then browse for that PDF that we saved in Canva. Here's the PDF. I'll just click that, click on open, let it upload. And while it's uploading, I just want to show you quickly that in Canva, you can actually click on share and from the more options, you can scroll down and then right down the bottom where it says more options, you can actually find flipping book as part of an option. So if you then click on that, it will automatically send it to flipping book so that you don't need to do this download, upload process. And then you simply select the pages, click on save, and then that will automatically send it to flipping book. All right, now the file's uploaded. You can firstly rename your ebook to whatever you want, whatever the title is, bit of a description, click on save so that you can differentiate them. And then once done, click once, and you'll be presented straight away with the converted PDF to Flipbook. So right off the bat, you can slide away, you know, using the left or right options. So go through it. And this is what viewers will see by default. The next step 
uh, the customization options and we're also going to be embedding elements such as videos and a form. On the left, you can manage this flipbook by customizing it, sharing it, embedding, viewing the stats since with the flipbook, you can track all the stats like views and clicks and things like that. The editor is where we can do things like embed interactive elements and you've got some other options right here. But let's first go and click on customize. These customization options are like your flipbook preferences as opposed to embedding things to your actual flipbook. So right here, you can again, change the title description. We can change the skin or in other words, the background. So by default, we've got this simple gray or this default, but you can change to one of the other options like Blackstone or architecture and we've got this skyline view. Let's just choose this one for now. Click on OK. And right there, we've got a different skin or background. Just as a side note, some of the features I'll be presenting in this demo require a paid plan, but if you want a full list of features, do check out the pricing and plans page. All right, you've also got branding options, so you can upload your own logo. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll browse for the logo image right here. Click on Open. You can also link it to a web address such as your website or your shop. And there are other branding options right here too. So under control, what you can do is enable things like these share buttons, the print button, the download button. Do you wanna allow your viewers, your readers to be able to download your flipbook as a PDF document or not? This is where you can enable, disable those sliders. So we can disable download button and there it's disappeared, the print option. It's disappeared right there. So go ahead, customize it. You can even disable the sound if you find that a little annoying, but I think it's quite interactive. Next, you got privacy settings, which is important if you do want to th do things like password protect. Click on password, set a password, so then the reader will be prompted for that password so that they can access and start reading your flipbook. Otherwise, use a shareable link, so only those with the link can view it. Otherwise, public can be viewed online by anyone. Down below, you've got the lead capture form, which is really cool, especially if you wanna start building an email subscriber list and send email newsletters and do things like that. So you can do so by enabling it. And then all the reader needs to do is enter their email address and that will be collected into the database, which you can then export. But we'll talk more about the lead capture feature later on. But in my opinion, this is a great way to gate your ebook if you do want to do so. So you can force them to opt in if you want to. So let's say you want to allow or not allow the skip button, right? And that will disappear. So now they are prompted to have to enter their email to access the ebook as opposed to allowing them to skip. In addition, you can add a table of contents if you wish to do so, but I won't be needing it for this flipbook. Under settings, you've got quite a number of settings here, such as accessibility. You can change the page turn modes from flip to slide, so different kind of effect right there, but I prefer the flip option. You can choose the number of pages maximum, so let's say one page at a time versus two. So we can go there, click on two pages instead. That looks better. And you've got some other options down below. From here, we can access the editor so that we can embed some interactive elements by clicking add video, links, etc. On the left, you can see what you can embed, such as a video, link, image gallery, inline image, a pop-up image, animated GIFs, forms, and quizzes. Let's start with a video first. So we'll head to the page where we left that space, click on video, and then all you need to do is insert the share URL of your YouTube video or someone else's YouTube video if you wanna do that, Vimeo video or Wistia. But I'll head to my YouTube channel here and let's say I wanna embed this one. I'll just click on the more options icon right there, click on share. That should give me a link to then copy. I'll paste it in the box and click on confirm. And right away it's inserted the video which I can then drag and drop where I want, expand it to whatever size I'd like. And right there, it's good. On the right, you'll see display settings. You can also make it auto play. So as soon as the reader turns to this page, page six, the video will start playing. All right, so that's a video. Let's go ahead and we're going to add a form. 
I'm gonna skip all the way to the very end. So as a call to action, I'm just going to replace whatever's here. You'll see what I'll do next. Click on forms and quizzes. And all you need to do is enter the link to your form, whether it's in Google as a Google form or through Typeform. I'm just going to open Typeform. So I'm on Typeform, I'm gonna log in. And once you're in here, all you need to do is create a new form like this one right here. And then I'll go ahead, click on share. This will give me the share URL. So I'll copy the link, head back to Flipping Book, paste it in, confirm. Now I've got a call to action button created. I'll just go and say, contact us, change the color to something that matches the branding a bit more, drag it maybe here. And now anyone that clicks it will land on that form. And I want it to be displayed as a pop-up within the actual Flipbook. You can do so, or you can open it in a new tab. So prompt it either way. And you're free to add any of the other elements such as an animated GIF. You simply drag and drop it and then that will start playing as soon as that reader uh, reads that page. From here, if you wanna start sharing your flipbook, all you need to do is head to the flipbook link URL, copy the link, and this is the exact URL you wanna share with your users, your customers, prospects, or whatnot. And this is what my viewers will see since I enabled the opt-in, they can enter their email address right there or skip it at this point. And here's the ebook with my logo and branding and also the skin slash background and also browse through the ebook, of course. Here's the video. Hi, it's Aurelius. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, you're going to learn. And right at the end, we did add a call to action button. Clicking that once will open the form. And a big benefit of using Flipping Book as opposed to just sending your PDF away into thin air and un making it untraceable is that you're getting analytics. You're gonna get stats. Well, things such as the number of views, the visitors, the number of downloads, shares, how many people printed it. You know, all of these metrics are important, especially if you wanna track your marketing efforts. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see collected leads. What you can do with those collected leads is then export. So as a demo, you can see a lead right there. That's me. You can export the lead and then import it to your favorite email marketing platform, such as MailChimp, ConvertKit, or what have you. Even better, you can automate the entire process by simply using Zapier. So there's an integration there, flipping book with any of your favorite apps, making it seamless and pretty efficient. And just very quickly, these are the pricing and plans that they offer starting from $19 a month uh, for the light plan. And bear in mind, you get 14 days of full trial and this gives you access to all of its features. So feel free to take advantage of that. No credit card required. And if after the 14 days you decide to upgrade to any of the plans, you will get a discount. Just look in the description box below for more info and details on that. And that, my friends, is how you can quickly and easily make your very own interactive flipbook to start engaging your audience, attract more leads, and boost your sales. So go ahead, make your very own flipbook today, whether it's an ebook guide, a report, a brochure, magazine, or what have you. I think it'll be very beneficial to your business and its growth. Until next time, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.